Okay, I'm back. Part three is the Criterion Hall. Um, you know, I think I think this is going to cover it. We'll see. Okay, so let me get back. Here's another film of director. I have a I have a box out of his, and I have a, um, I have two other films by him besides that box set. Passion of Joan of Arc and Vampire. I think I have another one of his, but I can't remember what it is. And a box set with Gertrude and and um, Ordet or Day. I think it needs the word and Day of Wrath and um, maybe something else and a documentary or My Made Tear or something. I'm talking about Dreyer. I think I said Dreyer before. Anyways, it's another Dreyer movie. It's called Master of the House. And I, th I believe he's a Danish filmmaker. And he was, he was just worshipped, I believe, like by the New Wave. Like Truffaut and Godard really loved him, you know. And I think he, he made just a handful of films. But, you know. I think he's very um, simplistic, not in a bad way, just, you know, um, oh, that's kind of interesting. See, you have a kid in the corner here, and then you turn the page and it's a guy in the corner. You know, it's a lot of, some thought in that. Well, I don't know, just, there's all these pages I can show you, but. I gotta get to the other ones. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to all these, you know. Next one is by another director I really love, um, Orson Welles. Um, it's called F for Fake. You know, I don't know, I think, well, it's, it's part documentary, I guess, and it's part fiction. And I, I think Orson Welles directed this movie. Commentary, introduction by P Peter McDonovich. Talk show with Welles. Oh, yeah, I looked at a little bit of this with the talk show. He was talking. I think another guy in the talk show with him was Oliver Reed. Unfinished Projects. Art Forger. 60 Minutes Interview. Cool, cool kind of seat. Uh, I think it's, is this a DVD? Oh, this is a Blu-ray, yeah. There you have a photo of, um, I think it's a photo, yeah. Orson Welles there. Everything in this film is strictly based on the available facts. This is, I'm looking forward to this. I love, I, I really like Orson Welles, you know. Touch of Evil, Citizen Kane. I mean, even the films he made that were, you know, not well. It's probably because some of his other films were just really ripped up and edited by other other people that that they're chopped up like that. You know, like Touch of Evil, for example, the copy that I have was painstakingly. I guess that's the word you can use uh, by Walter Murch, edited according to Orson Welles' notes um, that he gave to the studio, saying how he wanted the film to be cut and the studio cut it a different way um than he originally intended it intended it and um but anyways touch of evil you know if you see it the way orson wells wanted you to see it and that's i'd say there's you know an ample supply of copies of those you know um it's it's a it's a great movie um dare i say it's maybe an equal to Kane. I don't know. Well, Kane's mad, you know, great, great, one of the greatest films of all time, but 
Touch of Evil, you know, that's a, that's a good film, you know, so. Oh, so I got two films to go. Okay, so now I have um, a Robert Brisson movie, and I have a bunch of his movies. And he, he, he sort of worked, he sort of, um, oh, you know what, I, I think I did a video on Brisson. Um, I'm pretty sure if you look back in my archives, you can find it. Um, but this I got, and I've heard this is a good movie, so it's, I think it's called Mouchette. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It should be good, you know. And uh, I guess like in like with Dreyer, he's very um, simple, maybe. Maybe that's kind of a disarming compliment. Maybe there's more to it than that. I don't know. And last but not least, and I, yeah, I did. I, yeah, I, I did a video on Hitchcock, Hitchcock. So I don't think I have this. Um, that's why I bought it. It's a Blu-ray. And I, 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 well, it's Hitchcock's foreign correspondent. I'm looking forward to watching this. I love Hitchcock. Uh, I have a book on Hitchcock. I have a, more than more than one book. Um, Hitchcock Before, of course, which is a good book. And I have books on Hitch on um, Vertigo and Psycho. Like the making of Psycho is pretty cool. Um, and I have a book on another book on Psycho that really gets into in deep with, you know, essays and or like really critical, deep analysis of what it's all about. I, I really like to read that. But that and another book about Hitchcock, a biography of him, which is really big, you know, really big, thick tome. Um, Gilligan, I think is the last name of the author. And I bought it off of Amazon. It was cheap. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to reading that when I get the chance. But um, anyways, I have the Blu-ray in the Blu-ray machine, <coughs> Blu-ray player, you know, kind of cool this, you know, these words, shoot over to Amsterdam immediately, contact Van Me, the peace conference, expect important speech effect, affecting European war and powers. It's got a nice windmill there. And like, like Steen, Dean of DVD is talking about, they're doing these fold out things, which are kind of annoying, you know. I mean, it's not terrible that they're not, I mean, that they, you know, they're putting an essay in, I guess, and that's kind of cool, but I like the booklets more. And, uh, oh, so, um, yeah, uh, visual effects analysis by, well, I, I said the word analysis, but Craig Barron, he used to work, I don't think he works there anymore, but ILM. Hollywood propaganda, World War II. With writer Mark Harris talking about that. I've, I've seen him at the Burns. He he, he does a Oscar, Oscar and a, um, an Oscar talk with Janet Maslin every year at the Burns. And I've gone to two of those. And uh, I, one of his books that he wrote, Pictures at a Revolution, which is about the um, best picture race in 67, 68, or whatever, Bonnie and Clyde, and The Graduate, and Dr. Doolittle, and, um, or the other two movies. I can't remember, but I, I listened to that on uh, CD while driving, book on CD. And I thought it was fascinating and just great Hollywood history. Um, but getting back to this, so, um, interview with uh, Dick Cavett, which, I, which I've, been, I've been watching. I haven't watched all of it, but I've watched some of it, and it's pretty cool, you know, him talking about his, his techniques, radio adaptation. 
The Life Magazine photo drama by Hitchcock. Trailer. An essay by James Nairmore. Yet yeah, I read I read a book a long, long time ago, a few decades back, <coughs> by James Nairmore, Orson Welles. I can't remember it that well, you know, because it's been so long. So there you have it. Sorry that it's uh, taking all this time. Oh, and I've gone over my 10-minute limit there. But I think this will fit onto YouTube. I don't think I'll have a problem. So I'll, I'll see you in further videos I put I just recently I put up two um videos that were one was like two minutes and something minutes two minutes 20 minutes 20 seconds oh yeah that was that was the one called uh, harps of the gods and another one I put up was 40 seconds I think they're, they're just garage band music with video with, with photos I'm sorry photos and um yeah, just fiddling around with my MIDI keyboard and my garage band. And um, anyways, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and put some poetry on. You know, I have a microphone that I bought a while back, a few months back. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll try to put something on there, put some music with it. We'll see what happens. And um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do some reviews of some films. We'll see. Anyways... Uh, here's my customary trademark um, because of the fact that I'm Kubrick Lover 1972. I say, as Hal, I say, this conversation can serve no per further purpose. Goodbye.